Hello, kids. Well, my name is John Laughs A Lot, and I was thinking about being close to people, being far away from people. You know how it is right now. Sometimes some people are, maybe they're not feeling good, and you shouldn't get too close to them or something, or you're not feeling good, and you don't want to get somebody else sick or anything, so you want to stay away from them. Sometimes we want to be close to people and give them a hug, and sometimes we need to stay away a little bit. And I was thinking about how close we get and how far we get. When we're near somebody or we're close, we can get really close, right? Right up to them. Really close. Mm -hmm. Really close. Or we could be really far away. Yeah, you can get far away from somebody too. But most of the time, we're just going to be around each other, right? Especially when we're in a classroom or something with others, we don't want to get too close, but we also don't want to be too far away, so we're around each other. Yeah, we stay around and we can still play games. There's lots of games you can play without having to be too close to each other. Yeah, we can play at a little bit of a distance, things like mirrors and stuff. Have you ever played mirrors? Oh, this is a great game. When you're playing mirrors, you got to pretend like you're looking at a mirror. So if you sit down, why don't you all just have a seat, okay? Have a seat, and I'll take a seat. <laughs> I'm already sitting again. <laughs> so when I'm sitting down and you're sitting down, if you're facing me and we're facing each other, we're looking at each other, we can pretend like one of us is a mirror. Yeah, it's easy. I'll pretend like I'm looking in a mirror. And that means you are gonna do the same things I do. You're gonna move just like me, okay? So if you sit, crisscross applesauce, and we're gonna move slowly to keep it simple, okay? Because it's a game and we'll play together. I want you to move just like me, okay? All right, let's try it. See if you can move your hand up and wave. That's the first thing we do with a mirror. <laughs> sure, are you waving like my hand? Now put your hand down and do the other hand. Hello, <laughs> good job. Now put that down. You're going to follow my moves. I'll go slow so it's not hard, okay? Put both hands. Follow mine. Up, up, and really reach. Really reach. Good job. Are you just like me? Okay. Bring them down. We can put them out. And stretch. And come back and put them way back behind us. Whoa, I had to move my legs that time even. So, this is the mirrors game. When we play the mirrors game, you wanna sit with a friend, or you can even do this when you're on the computer or something, when you're zooming with somebody, you can do this game. I'll show you what it looks like, just in case you don't understand. If I was playing mirrors here, I could be here, and you might be over there. Let me think how I could do this. I guess I could put another one of me over there. Hey, good, good job. job, hi. All right, you follow me. Hey, that, that was, was a good, good job. job. Good job. Hey, so, so that's the mirrors game, and I like playing mirrors. It gets hard when you're standing up and you're doing things that are more difficult to make with each other, but you get the idea. So mirrors is a game that we can play anytime, and we can play it sitting a little bit away from each other. So it's a good, safe game. Hey, I was thinking about another game. In one of my other lessons, we went to the jungle and got rubber balls. 
Do you remember the imaginary jungle? We climbed the rubber ball tree and we picked a rubber ball and put it in our pockets. Well, you probably still have that rubber ball in your pocket if you went with me. And if you don't, I want you to pretend like you have a rubber ball. There it is. So when we're playing with rubber balls, we learned how to throw and catch them. Can you throw it from hand to hand? All right, but you got to watch it go across. All right. So throw it and catch it. Ready? We'll do it on three. One, two, three, throw and catch. Good job. So we played all kinds of things, but at the end, we played by rolling them to each other. I was thinking how neat this would look if we did it together. So let's try it. I'll roll my ball and you roll your ball and we'll catch them, okay? So first I'll put my ball away and I want you to put it yours on the floor like this and then roll it to me, all right? So I won't use mine right now. I'll get ready to catch and you roll your ball to me, all right? Ready, set, go. Oh, good job, I got it. Here, I'll roll it back to you. Are you ready? Hey, good catch. All right. You should be catching it like that because I'm rolling it on the ground. You want to roll yours again? Okay, I'm ready. Ready? One, two, three. Roll it. Good job. Ready to catch? Put your hands out. There you go. Put your hands out and I'm going to roll it to you. One, two, three. Catch. Good job. What do you think if we tossed them to each other? Could we play catch that way with imaginary balls? We're pretending like we have a ball and we're gonna throw and catch it. So I'll wait over here and you get ready to throw your ball, okay? All right, I'm ready. Don't throw it hard. I don't wanna get hit with an imaginary ball. <laughs> so are you ready? One, two, three, throw. Wow, oh, good throw, wow. Are you ready? I'm going to throw mine to you. Here we come. Are you ready? You get ready to catch it. Okay, here you go. One, two, three, catch. Hey, good job. Now see, there's a game, whoops, forgot my rubber ball. There's a game that you can play with yourself all the time. You got your rubber ball. You can bounce it off a wall. Let's see. I'll bounce it off my wall over here. Whoa, man. So whenever you want you have that rubber ball to play with. Remember, we're just using our imaginations. We're pretending. And we can pretend with friends, but we all got to be make sure that we're careful and make sure that we know one, two, three, here it comes. If you're talking through it like that, it's an easy game to play for everybody. There's some other games that I was thinking of. Let's see. And these games don't have to be real close. And they don't have to be really far, but we can play them when we're just around each other. Like, this game is called What Am I Doing? All right? Now, here's how you play it. I'm going to do something, and then you tell me what you think I'm doing. All right? Let's try one. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. What am I doing? I'm eating a banana. I peeled it down and then I ate it. That's eating a banana. So you can play what am I doing by thinking of simple things. Don't make them difficult or people won't be able to guess what they are. Okay. So you want to make it something simple. Like I'll show you another one. Everybody does this one. So let's try this. What am I doing? All right, wait for it. Now, when you think you know what I'm doing, you say it out loud, okay? Are you ready? All right, wait for it.
What am I doing? <laughs> I'm brushing my teeth. Do I have a toothbrush? Well, yeah, in my imagination, I do. I'm pretending like I have a toothbrush and I'm brushing my teeth. And I helped you by putting the toothpaste on it, right? And then I brushed my teeth and I even made the sounds that time, <laughs> right? That helps you understand what I'm doing so you can take a guess, right? Hmm. All right, there's a lot of stuff over there. <laughs> So you can play what I'm doing with your friends on video or when you're around them. You don't have to be real close and you don't have to be real far, but remember, you want to be around them and play what am I doing? It's a fun game and you can do all kinds of things in your imagination, but you've got to really think about what you're doing and how to do it so that they can guess it. Okay. Well, that's a good game. I like playing. There's one other game that I think is kind of fun. I don't always play it uh, unless I'm with somebody else. And it's good if we're in a place where there's lots of things, like in our house or in a classroom or somewhere else where there's lots of things. So you can say, well, you can say anything, but this game is kind of called Bring Me a a round red block. Well, it's kind of like a treasure hunt, but you don't know what you're looking for until they say, bring me a, and they'll say something. So it should have a color and it should have a shape. Those are the main things. Like if I said, bring me something round that is blue. Well, then you got to look for something round that's blue. Oh, I got it. Right there. Okay. The wheel on this is round and blue. Pretty good. <laughs> I kind of saw that before, but I thought that would be, that would be good. Did you see something else back there? Bring me something that is white with four legs. Well, that could be a hard one, but I happen to have a toy horse right here. Yeah. So it has four legs. One, two, three, four. And it's white. Pretty good. Now, what you don't want to do when you're playing this game is really make it hard. You want to make things that people could find where you are so that they can find them. Maybe you saw something and you're thinking, okay, what color is it and what shape is it? Maybe they'll bring you that thing you were thinking of, or maybe they'll bring you something else you didn't even think of. And that's what's fun. You get surprises in this game. So in... When you're playing with other friends or whatever, these are all games that you can play at a distance. And remember, I like mirrors and I like what am I doing because that's fun. And you can even take what am I doing and make it what am I? For instance, let's see. What am I? Um, ooh. I got a good one. Okay. What am I? I'm Spider-Man. That's right. <laughs> you can play this and be people or you could do things. What am I doing? You know? cutting wood for a fire. Yeah, there we go. I can make a big fire with wood and cook my beans. Guess I'm a cowboy on the trail. So what am I doing? And mirrors are my favorite games, but also I like playing with imaginary balls and rolling them back and forth. And I also like just 
treasure hunting for things and see if people can find them. That's always fun. And then you get a turn to try to find it. So those are fun games. Oh, did you see that? That was my cat coming back. Captain, he was behind me. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm looking for my cat. <laughs> I'll see you next time, kids. Bye-bye. <laughs>